things. Fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. That's my baby. Caroline. I know what you're thinking. This hair is fabulous. Caroline, you look stunning. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. I, I know. <laughs> I am impressed myself. You're impressed? I am flagasted. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Karen like this, me. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I recreated, well, how I created this look. Like, I don't know what to call it. It's given like 70s, maybe Farrah Fawcett. I don't know. I'm just calling it the white girl blowout because it's blonde. That's the vibe it's giving me. But yeah, I really like this hair. I feel like it came out super cute. And this hair was already dyed from Reshine Hair Company. All I did was pluck it and style it and style it like this. And with that said, let's get into today's tutorial. Okay, so here is the unit. I already plucked it myself. I did not have to bleach the wig because it already it's already blonde, so there's no point of doing it. It does have a few random dark knots at the bottom, but that's not that deep, honestly majority of the hair is blonde and I did pluck the middle part right here this wig the frontal is thick I had to pluck a little bit I feel like I didn't even pluck enough I'm gonna go in with some foundation to tint the lace all this hair back while I cut off all this excess loose. Now we can lay the lace going with my Ebon Wonder Lace Spray. I finally got a new can. I like using the red one versus the black one. I feel like, oh, if you have sensitive skin, you should definitely try it out. They have a sensitive skin one. I think it's gold. But I'm going to use that to cut, put my lace down. My new way of laying my lace is I like to, before I used to like spray over, but I like to cut the lace off first, right? Damn, it's kind of short on my sideburns, okay? My sideburns are right here, and it's low-key a little bit short on my sideburns. But that's cool. I plan on doing a middle part anyways. But I'm just going to spray under the lace, like so. And then... I, for the side, I always pull out the sideburns. Dang, it's kind of low on my sideburns. I like to go, you know, cold setting and just push it all in. band I will say this wig it's a medium cap and it feels like not small but just like short on my hairline like on the sides as y'all saw and for sure right here my real like little edges is peeking out but I mean it's manageable but if you feel like you got a really big old head definitely make sure you get a large let me cut these down Oof, boy, the relief I feel when I take this band off. I can't wait to style this hair because I don't know how I'm feeling about it right now. Like, I don't know. 
I still know it's gonna end up cute because I've literally been trying so much color these days and there's not been a color where I'm done styling it that was like, oh, that's ugly. Like I'm telling y'all, if you're scared to try color, this is your sign to try it because literally every color looks good on black women, period. But okay, okay, now we're gonna do our baby hairs. I'm just gonna keep it simple, y'all know me. I like to do my little two baby hairs and that's really it. Okay, I'm spraying some of the ebon in between the hair just to help the baby hair stay down. I'd be scared when I cut my brows off every time I do this because that is possible. I'm surprised I haven't done that. Give them a nice curl. I feel like an inward curl works better. Ooh, see. I might not be burning off my eyebrows, but I'm definitely, I mean, I'm gonna be cutting off my eyebrows, but I'd definitely be bored burning my forehead. But yeah, inward curl works better for me, the way that I like to do my baby hairs. All right, to soup the baby hairs, I'm gonna be using Eco Styler, that's Bestie. And we're just gonna, you know, proceed to swoop. for the actual styling so uh, there's this like certain haircut this girl this cute little white girl i'll be seeing online and her haircut i don't know her name but i'll try to post pictures of this I'm not showing up on camera right but i'm trying to go for like you know very banged up i don't know what's the call kind of 70s i don't know what era this is but i'm gonna call it the white girl blowout because i've seen a lot of white girls you know recreate this look so so I'm gonna call it call it the white girl blowout because from the way that I'm looking at it, the roots are very all pointing upwards. So I'm also gonna be hot combing this hair upwards because it's like a lifted look, you know. For bangs, I'm gonna use this much. Okay, well, let me do the same thing on the other side, and I'm just kind of trying to go in a diagonal downwards motion I use this little razor comb to help me cut out the bang I guess what would help if I just like kind of play with the hair and put it the way I want it to follow my face cut it pretty short actually I'm not gonna cut it too short at first because you know once you cut it too short you can't go back so that's why I'll just give myself room to mess up Yeah, that looks good for now. Same thing on this side. Give it a very heavy bang. And then I'm just gonna finish it off on these side pieces. Cause she has like most of the layers towards the top of her hair. And I wanna take the bang, the cut a little further into the hair, not just the front. So, yeah, just dragging the layers out. I'm trying to like do each section. I'm just pushing the hair back to see how like it falls together. Okay, so I feel like that's good for the first layers. Now I'm gonna cut the length of the actual hair. So, but she's quite long and I don't want it that long for this look. So I'm just gonna give it all one blunt chop at where the hair is the fullest because it is kind of thin towards the end. So I'm just gonna 
one solid chop just to make it nice and thick and even. That's probably like four inches maybe. And then I'm gonna do like light layers up here. Really light because the rest of the layers in her hair as I'm looking at doesn't look like her layers. She only has like many, most of her layers towards the top, so yeah. And I'll just cut the hair and tweak it as needed. A little bit of this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Serum. Make sure I work that in top to bottom. I'm also going in with this Avion Magic Main 10 in 1 Primer. I'm using this because it has some heat protectant in it so that way it can protect the hair. Alright, so for styling, I'm going to use my flat iron, a one inch flat iron to curl the hair. And then I'm going to roll them in these Velcro rollers so that way it can kind of like give it that blowouty look. So for the styling portion, what I did was I did my regular flat iron curls, but I wanted to make sure I curled it in different directions. So some towards the back of the room and swords framing towards my face. Doing it in opposite directions helps give it more of that like blow out kind of look. Cause if I do it all in the same direction like I normally do, which is like towards the back, it's gonna all start to clump together and that's a different look entirely. So I did like, I'll do one curl inward and I'll do the next curl outward. Just trying my best to go in different directions. And right as I finish curling the hair, I would roll it up in these Velcro rollers and also pin them up. And I feel like pinning them up and rolling them in the Velcro rollers kind of, one, helps the curl hold its shape and the Velcro rollers kind of just help loosen up that tight curl to give it more of a body wave kind of look. Towards the bang area, I wanted to do those flipped to the back because I because the bangs clearly are going to be flipped towards the back of your face, so you don't want the bangs coming into your face. So those were the only two sections that I for sure did in the same direction. 
and I also try to make sure I was lifting the hair at the roots to get that push-up voluminous kind of look all right I got this big old bonnet that I'm gonna put on just to cover the hair up I'm gonna wait a little bit before I pick the curls down just to really give his hair a moment to set all right let's take these curls down I'm nervous I hope this works out Ooh. all right moment of truth y'all let's see how this goes run my hands through everything to see what we're working with oh I haven't missed one my bad G I think it just needs more more shaping and figuring out I'm just gonna say yellow and just brush everything and that's the thing I've learned with curls you gotta like manipulate them because sometimes they're not gonna give automatically is it just me but whenever i curl the hair it's never perfect on the first curl i always have to go back and re-judge re-curl some areas because i wanted to go for less of a fair faucet flipped out 90s or whatever era i'm so bad with eras kind of look i just went ahead and one added some more layers in some areas that i felt like could use more of shaping and then i went with my flat iron again and like this part right here they were all flipping together because they were all going the same direction. So I went ahead and just flipped it in the other direction so that way it's, you know, not clumping together with the other layers. I also went ahead and added a very light shade concealer in the middle of the part just to kind of cover up that little demarcation line of my wig cap in the back and also just make the part kind of show better. This hair was kind of just blending into my skin a bit. And the rest of the clips and the rest of the styling was just me recurling and rebrushing areas, some inwards, some outwards, until the hair was kind of forming the shape I wanted it to form. Oh, y'all see that? Ah! Y'all see it? Oh, this is cute. This is giving. She is the drama. Yes, like volume on 10. Yes, honey, yes. All right, I'm using this round brush to kind of just help ooh, smoothen everything out. Like, ooh, yes. And I'm gonna use some, I'm gonna use some hairspray to hold everything in place. Would y'all believe me if I told you I literally spend the next hour just literally hairspraying areas here and there brushing and doing the same thing y'all saw in other clips over and over again until i felt like the hair was you know giving the look i wanted to give thank goodness for fast forwarding because y'all don't need to see all that but really this was the end of the look i was so obsessed with this hair it's something about the shape and the curls from now on i'm curling my hair in different directions no more the typical all the way to the back curling your hair like this just i don't know it just gives something it gives okay but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this look because i know i did i've been trying a lot of different colors and moral of the story you can rock any color that color you're scared to rock rock because it, at sis. first i wasn't too sure about this wig i was like ah this color looking a little scary but now that i've styled it oh chef kiss delicious tantalizing hot girl okay let me stop talking see yeah 
anyways thank you guys for watching this video thank you for making it through another wig install journey with me i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you on another one make sure you like comment and subscribe oh and comment down below a new color i should try because i'm like hmm what should i do next green purple pink comment down below but anyways peace out girl scouts goodbye